many of these young students of mine, they say, Andrew Tate, this Tate, that Tate. I've never watched Tate. But what I say is more effective than Andrew Tate. But sometimes someone can misconstrue your words and say you are a misogynist. You cannot be a woman hater because the, the person who gave birth to you is a woman. Paradise is under the feet of your mother. The Prophet wasallam said, the best of you is the one who is the best to his family, the wife. The one who treats his wife good is the best of you. The word is Ahl, it means the wife. So in Islam, we can never be misogynistic. We give utmost respect to a sister, Haya meaning modesty. When it comes to modesty, uh, we expect modesty from our sisters and we respect them due to their modesty. So Islam is never misogynistic. For some politicians to label the Birmingham campaigns as being misogynistic is diverting people from the reality that those same politicians, they are part and parcel of the Zionist machinery. They are a composition, a component of the Zionist machinery that supports the current Labour Party. So it's a diverting tactic for them to utilize misogyny. It's misogyny when you kill women in Gaza. When you kill women in Gaza, when you kill their children in Gaza, you are carrying out misogyny. Misogyny is an inherent hatred for women. And that is found in murderers like Benjamin Netanyahu, who despises Palestinian women. The Israeli soldiers that rape Palestinian women are misogynists. For you to pick up a few comments here and there, I'm sure all you politicians, you two-faced people, in your private conversations, you say so many things with regard to Muslims, with regard to black people, with regard to minorities, with regard to the white working class, with regard to the working class in general, with regard to those you deem inferior. And then you come out in public with a squeaky clean image when in reality you have two faces with God and with the people in general. So do not use your hypocrisy in your general election campaigns.